<laughs> um, so how are you feeling? So you're in Vancouver right now. How is it going? What's it like filming during the current situation? Um, during the pandemic is, uh, it, I mean, it's, it feels like what I'm going to do right now is pull from a lot of different castmates and what they've said, right? Okay. Um, no need to be original right now. Um, I think that uh, it's complex, right? Because we're really disconnected and it's all of those things. But when we get those moments to be on set and see each other and communicate with each other, um, like Mary said in another interview, um, those connections and those moments are deeper because we're starved for them in our own ways. Um, also the music and being and working and there's so much to be grateful for. So there's that as well. Yeah, definitely. It must be great being around people without a mask. Without giving anything away, for Team Simon fans, what can you tell us? Um, is there any hope for you and Zoe? There's, there is always hope. <laughs> right. That was really that's good. A, so, um, in season a season one interview, you said that uh, Simon had some healing to do um, in season two. Uh, do we see that healing, or what do you think personally? I think that we get to yes, we get to see some of Simon's healing, um, and I think that you get to also dive into other parts of Simon's life and his humanity that aren't just um, dealing with grief and that aspect of who he is. So I'm excited about the community and the world getting to explore those things as well. And uh, this might be a tough one, but removing yourself from the character, are you more Team Max or Team Simon? Removing myself from the character. Actually, here's the thing. I don't, I, I can't say that I'm more Team Max or Team Simon. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the team situation. Um, okay. But I, so remo removing from myself from the character as John and these two people, I see the I see the value in both of these guys, and um, and I see that they they both have these journeys that they're on, and they're they're evolving in their own ways that are different but similar in ways, and um, uh, I hope that they both find love, whatever that looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I guess fate will just <laughs> now time will tell. <laughs> yeah, um, fate or fate, i.e., Austin, our showrunner. So yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so in which ways do you, um, relate to Simon or like, which ways are you not similar? Which ways are you similar? I mean, I, I decided to audition for the show because I uh, related to Simon in a lot of ways. Like my, my father passed 14 years ago. That was the huge thing that made me even want to audition for the show. I read the pilot and was like, I know this, I understand this. I want to do this. Um, and after that, this, this idea of this healing process that he's gone on, it's similar to something that I've been through in my own life, you know, and even even to even to <laughs> some of even to some of the romantic things like those are echoes of my own life as well. But um, I think that uh, where Simon and I are different, I, I think that I am more joyful in <laughs> 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 the world and in life. I think Simon is is just uh, he has a little more uh, melancholy with him um, than I do in my own life. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're working with some amazing actors and actresses. And so yeah. what is life like on set? Like, what is like one of your favorite moments or memories? I mean, I, it's, 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 that's such a difficult question. I think my general ethos on set is like being in this space of constant inspiration, right? Because I work with so many incredible people. And not only are they really talented, you know, because that's just a given. They're all incredible human beings, right? So like, I get to go to go to work with people who uh, who I care about, who uh, are just really, really, just fabulous human beings. So I, I leave inspired artistically and personally all the time. Yeah, that's great. And so you guys are still like in the middle of filming. So do you even know? I mean, we don't know obviously what season two holds, but do you even know the ending yet? No. No. I have no clue what the ending is. No clue. At all. And that's a good thing. I think. Yeah, that is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so what, looking back to season one, what was your favorite number to perform, would you say? Like, oh, you, oh like, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I, I, okay, so probably Jealous in season one. That was my favorite to perform. Why? Because um, it was a, it was just, it was a departure for me in a lot of ways. Like, I mean, one, 
it was like it wasn't like Mad World, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know. It wasn't like. Ah, it wasn't that. It was. It was funky. It was smooth. It was open. It was. Um, I felt like it was more sexy, and I really enjoyed playing that, you know, in the scene. And um, and I and I enjoyed singing the song as well. And uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that was everyone else's favorite too. So that was a good one. Um, what would be, <laughs> what would be your dream song to sing on the show that you having so far? Ooh, I mean, yo, dream song like there's one. No, I'd I'd love music. So that's just a difficult question. But I, what I'll say is this: um, in this season, I get to sing some songs that I love that I really, really love. And uh, I'm excited for people to hear those. Um, if there's a genre of song that I'd really love to sing more of, um, I think that uh, I love soul music. Um, I love folk music, like singer songwriting kind of music. Um, and uh, yeah, I think those would, be the, those would be the two that land on me so much. And the reason why is because with those with, with music like that, the lyrics are always so rich. You know, the lyrics are so rich and moving and powerful. So yeah. Awesome. I love that. So saying this, do you guys have input, like creative input to pick with songs? Or like is it really just up to them? I mean, no, we don't we don't we we don't pick our songs. No. Um they they do uh they do take time to get to know who we are and our instruments and stuff like that and they clean parts of our personal life and they weave them into the fabric of the show, right? So as they do that, they they pick songs that align with us in certain ways and stuff like that. But we don't pick the songs, we get the script, the song is there, and um, and we get to learn it and we get to do the doggone thing. Um, comparing uh, this project to other projects, what um, what's different about Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist than other projects you've previously worked on? No, I, I'll say this. Um, this is not, I would not say that this is my element. Um, I haven't done a lot of musical theater. I've done some, but not a lot. Um, I have, I'm not a Broadway vet like some of my other castmates. Um, I love music and I love acting, but I consider myself more of an actor than a singer or a mover. Um, but I, what I will say is throughout the process of this show, I have come to an appreciation, uh, a, a greater appreciation of my instrument and what I'm capable of. I um, think every single time, specifically with the first season, and even with this season, every single time I was given a number, I had this anxiety, this this feeling of, oh my gosh, what is going to happen? Uh, and every single time I got to stretch myself artistically, to do things that I didn't know that I could do, to sing songs that I hadn't had the opportunity to sing, to move in ways that I hadn't, I didn't know that I could move, and to learn to trust my my artistic self. And in this season, I feel like all of that is continuing all the more, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, so after doing this, would you consider maybe doing some more musical stuff in the future, like Broadway or something? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Of course, of course. Yeah. And good Thank luck with the rest of the me. Thank, Thank you. you.